the Dunning-Kruger effect. For those of you unfamiliar, it's basically a line chart with the y-axis axis being confidence and the x-axis being experience. Basically what happens is when you learn a skill or a trade, your confidence is really high when you have no experience using the trade. And then as you gain some experience and screw some stuff up, you have a quick drop down in confidence. But then as you gain more experience, you slowly regain your confidence. Now someone in my profession, this quick drop can be quite a dangerous learning experience. And that's what my story about tonight. So I wasn't quite a year into being a therapist and I had made a few people feel better and I was really starting to feel good about myself. I thought I knew what I was doing. And we had a older gentleman, kind of middle-aged, beer-drinking dad kind of guy come into our clinic. I can't remember his name, we'll call him Bob for now. Um, and Bob was having pain kind of between his shoulder blades, you know, kind of a insidious, just woke up one day, kept hurting more and more and more. And after about two weeks of regular exercise, massage, you know, stretching, no change, no better, still killing him. And I was like, you know, he ended up seeing me by then. And uh, I took a look at him and I was pushing things around and his back was just like a steel plate. There's no movement to it at all. I'm like, man, you're stiff as a board. I've seen drums less tight than you. So I know what you need. You need a nice pop right through the spine. And now we spent one day on this in school and I'd done it maybe once before. <clears throat> so I got Bob, I laid him on his stomach, got my hands on him, I told him, all right, take a deep breath in and then breathe out. And as you breathe out, I'm gonna give your spine a nice push. Inhale, exhale, I give him a good push and I feel a strange shift in skeletal tissue and a muffled groan. Did I do that? So he gets up, oh, oh, he's in excruciating pain. He's groaning. I'm like, oh no, what just happened? What did I do? So he gets up and we're talking about it. He's like, I feel like my rib is shifted. So I called my boss over and we had a look at him. It sure looked like I dislocated his rib. <clears throat> so we put some ice on him, some stim and stuff. Like, you know, all right, just calm down, calm down. You're fine, you're fine. So the next day he came in and he's hamming it up. Oh God, you know, it's no better, probably worse. I'm just standing there like, geez Louise, I'm gonna lose my license. I'm done, I better start looking for new careers. And we try and work with him, we look at him. My boss mostly working with him, see if we can get his ribs back in place. But it, was, yeah, it wasn't going so great. So I went home, I'm like, I was so stressed. I was a mess. I was like, I'm done. I got to get a new career. This is awful. So he makes an appointment with his doctor. Doctor looks at him and orders an x-ray. Look at the ribs. So luckily, he gets the x-ray and his ribs were displaced, but they were back in place by now. It was almost a week later. And turns out, he had a stress fracture in his ther um, thoracic spine that was causing him all the pain. So, <laughs> while I may have caused him horrendous pain, at the end, we ended up finding the answer to his problems. That's my story. Thank you.